Hello everyone, I saw on the internet that uh, the Windows 11 system UI is very nice. A bit like Mac OS, there is a docker in the middle of the screen. So I installed it on my old computer. I feel very satisfied because I used Windows 10 before and met the issue of blue screens and uh, system crash. But after I installed Windows 11, this issue never happened again. I saw some tutorials on the installation of Windows 11 that are very complicated, requiring a lot of uh, manual settings to bypass the secure boot and the TPM 2.0 checks by Windows 11, and require that uh, the computer's memory must be more than 4 GB, which makes it uh, difficult for the beginners to install Windows 11. However, I found the easiest way to install the Windows 11. We only needed to use a software to write the Windows 11 ISO file image into a USB flash drive. Then we can install Windows 11 with this USB flash drive and automatically bypass the secure boot and the TPM 2.0 checks of the Windows 11. And less than 4 GB RAM PC can also be installed. Well, go to my computer and have a look. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my old PC. You can see I've already installed the Windows 11 with my USB stick here. Yeah? Very easy way to install the Windows 11 to your old PC. So we can bypass the TPM 2.0 checks and bypass some other checks by the Windows 11. It's very easy. I will show you how to install it using this USB file, USB flash drive. So you can see the uh, Windows 11 is very beautiful, I think. So you can see this docker just like a uh, the uh, Mac OS system so it's very I mean it looks very nice and uh, so here is the start menu yeah so start menu and if you want to pin this like pin the pin paint to the taskbar you can see here pin to the taskbar so you can see here the you can see the icon will be on the docker the taskbar so if you are not uh, like uh, the docker on the middle of the screen then you can change it to the left if you still prefer the pro I mean the previous of uh, I mean previous looking here you can see here is the center you can change it to the left so we can see here so the taskbar is on the left so it can be uh, customized by yourself okay let's move to my another PC I will show you how to create a USB flash drive and uh, can be use it to easily install the Windows 11 very very easy way to do it okay let's go okay welcome to my another PC so first we need to open this web address this is the Microsoft official website where we can uh, download the official uh, Windows 11 from the Microsoft official website so I will I will uh, I will put this uh, Microsoft uh, link uh, web address link down below this web down below this video description for you to download this uh, Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft official website. Okay, after we visit this official website of Microsoft, then we go down here to go down. We will select here, download the Windows 11 image disk image ISO file from the official website Microsoft. Then we will click this down below job list here, job list, and uh, here click Windows 11 multi edition ISO file. Click this one, and then uh, we click download. And you will see there's a mu another option for you to choose the language. You can choose the language you want to download. You can, for me, I just for the English United States or English International. You, it depends on your preference. So I will download the English United States and then you will click confirm then you can download this uh, uh, Windows 11 multi edition ISO file click after you click this button there will be a pop-up window uh, for you to download this uh, ISO file because I already downloaded this uh, Windows 11 English version so I will not uh, download this again okay so this is the first file, ISO, uh, Windows 11 ISO file we needed to download from the Microsoft official website. Okay, then this is the second useful tool, which means uh, Rufus. This is you, we will use this software to create a Windows 11 USB flash drive. And the, I mean, and the benefit of this Rufus is it will automatically create 
the Windows 11, I, uh, 11 flash drive and it can automatically bypass the T TPM 2.0 and uh, the anything other checks for the Windows 11. Okay, so after we, I will also put this link down below this video description for you to visit this website and download from the official website. Okay, so let's we go down here and we will find uh, the Rufus 2.3.2 and the Rufus 3.2 portable. So I would suggest you to download the portable version because there's no need to install this software, okay? Because I already downloaded, so I will not uh, download it again. So we'll, you need to click this one, 3.2 portable. Okay, so two software downloaded. Then we go back to my folder. You can see here, I already downloaded Windows 11 English version, the ISO file. The size is around five gigabyte here. 5 gigabyte and the Rufus is very small you can see only 1 megabyte yeah it's only 1.3 megabyte okay then we double click this Rufus 3.2 double click and there's a window pop up click yes and here you will see the Rufus opened and then you need to plug in this uh, USB flash drive on um, with your PC yeah with your PC yeah plug in and now you can see the uh, USB drive was recognized by the Rufus and uh, here the name is here my uh, USB drive is 64 gigabyte hold here and then you need to select here yeah, select your ISO file here you click download and you can see here the Windows 11 English version we select this uh, ISO file and click open so and uh, we already selected the Windows 11 English version and you can see the partition scheme I mean uh, automatically it will by default will choose GPT so and we will after that we, uh, by default you need, don't need to change it and you need after that there's nothing needed to change you just click start here click start it will automatically create a uh, you have USB flash drive to install the uh, Windows 11 but I mean if you are using this option uh, failed. I mean, uh, when you're using this uh, flash drive to install the Windows 11 on your older PC and it failed, it cannot be booted from your USB drive, then I recommend you can choose, after you cannot do it with the GPT, then you can choose it, use it MBR. So, only two options for you. On MBR, so you can see BIOS, this is one, one select option. Another option is GPT. GPT is UEFI, this one. So, two options. You can switch between them. If the I mean it, this flash drive cannot be booted from your old PC, okay? So I will by default choose GPT, and after that nothing needed to be changed. Then you click start. Now you can see this is a very useful function. It set remove requirement for four gigabyte RAM and secure boot and TPM. 2.0 bypass so this is very useful functions and it will automatically bypass the TPM 2.0 checking and uh, secure booting check-ins and 4G RAM limitation of the Windows 11 so you need to check in these options okay then, uh, then after that then the other options so there's no need to tick in so only the first one is needed to tick in okay then we click OK and it said and all the data in this flash drive will be erased then we click OK. Then you will see that uh, it will copy the ISO file and create the flash drive. It will the light is uh, flashing. Yeah, it is writing the file onto the flash drive. We just be patient. It may take uh, uh, two or five minutes. It depends on your speed of your flash drive. Just be patient uh, until the uh, to the one hundred percent of this task bar. Okay. Okay, now we see it is 100% ready and uh, all the job done. Then we click close. Yes, click close and unplug this USB drive. Then I will plug this USB drive to an, my another PC to install the Windows 11 to my another old PC. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I will plug my USB flash drive to an, my another old PC. Press the power on button. And after that, then we needed to click the F12 for my uh, for my PC, I needed to click F12 to boot from my USB drive. So you can see this is the boot menu. If you press F12, then you can go to get into the boot menu from here. 
Okay, so you can see after we boot from the boot menu, then you can choose boot from which uh, a drive here. I will use a 46 gigabyte Champ Fancier. This is the uh, USB, my USB drive. So we click this one. So click that one. And so it will boot from my USB drive. Then we can use the USB drive to install Windows 11 easily. Okay, so you can see this is the first step. Then we click next and uh, click install. Install now. Okay, so I don't have a product key. We click this one. I don't have a product key. Yes, and choose the uh, version you want to use. Here, Windows 11 Home and uh, in Windows 11 Pro and the other versions. So for me, I will select Windows 11 Pro and I click Next. Here, and I will click I accept. Click Next. And the customize install windows only advanced we will i will recommend you click this one customize custom and then you needed to select which uh, i mean which uh, you can see here which drive you will need to install the windows 11. yeah you can see this is uh, one two eight megabyte not this one this is is, is my drive uh, drive two so not this one so you needed to recommend which I mean the drive you need to use to install your Windows 11. So this one, 232 gigabyte. Yeah, this one it should be the target I will use to win install the Windows 11. So click this one, 232 gigabyte, and uh, you, we just uh, format, just format this one. Yeah, format it and click OK. So all the data will be erased. Okay, so it will be erased and. Uh, the drive will be clear so we will, need, we will use the windows 11 to install the windows 11 clearly on the this drive partition 3 232 gigabyte okay select this one and already formatted and click next then it will copy windows files to the drive and uh, start to install the uh, windows 11 the whole process i think is depend on your usb drive speed for me it take me around five to ten minutes just to finish the installation of windows 11 it's very very fast yeah i feel satisfied about uh, the installation speed just to be patient waiting for this uh, start status bar from well, to the 100 percent okay Okay, so getting file ready and installing feature and installing update and finishing update. So just be patient. It's very quick. You can see installing feature finished, installing update finished and finishing up. So it will restart in five seconds. So we just restart now. So it's very easy. After that restart, then you just unplug, unplug your, your USB drive. So boot from the USB drive. Just be patient. Okay, and now you can see Windows 11 is started and we just click the United States, click yes to do a very simple setup and the US, yes and uh, skip and connect automatically. I don't have internet, okay, we just don't have internet or you just click it to connect to your Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay, I, you can first click I don't have internet and uh, continue with limited setup connect yeah after you we, then we will go to desktop enter your name i just said enter my name logs okay then click next enter your password you just leave it in blank no password just click next or you can set a password by yourself location error setting next next just uh, go down and accept okay getting things ready for you okay you can see perfect we already log into the windows 11 and next step i think you needed to install your video card drivers and other drivers from the windows i mean the windows so we can right click the start but start menu right click and go device manager so you will see some uh, you can see those drivers needed to be installed so you need, you need to find your drivers to install those drivers to make the windows more powerful yeah it's very simple so now your old laptop or your old pc can use the windows 11 very very easily on 
this I mean this way to use Rufus to install the Windows 11. It's a very easy and a simple way to uh, create a USB flash drive and use it to install the Windows 11 and very fast, very quick. So then you can uh, connect to your Wi-Fi here, install the Wi-Fi drivers, then you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's very easy and it's straightforward. So if you like my sharing, don't forget to thumb up and see you next time. Bye-bye.